tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and format a blog post in WordPress. The first thing I'll show you is the editor, then how to bring in copy from another source, to add an image, add links, categories, and a featured image, and then publish your post. So let's get started. After logging into your blog or your WordPress website that contains a blog, you will go to the top menu, hover over new, and click on post. That's add new post. Or you can come down on your sidebar here, your left menu, and hover over post and you'll see add new here. So we'll just click on add new and this is going to bring us into our editor. Now in the editor, I'm going to give you a brief tour here. We're in visual mode. You want to make sure that you always have the visual tab selected. The text tab, if I select the text tab, that's if you know CSS encoding. So make sure that you're always on the visual tab. This is a beginner training on creating and formatting blog posts. Now it's time to start adding content to your blog post. The first thing you want to do is add a title. So your title goes up here. The next thing you want to do is you can either type in your text down here in the editor or you can copy it in from a Word document or from another source. So from another source you would click on the T here. It says paste is plain text or hover over this W and that's paste from Word. So we're going to paste from Word. I added, I copied some text from my Word document and I'm going to paste it in here and then insert it into my blog post. It inserted perfectly. The only thing that I need to do now is I want to make my headings larger. So we call that Headings 2. If I click right here, you'll see Headings 2. But you need to highlight the heading first. So I'll highlight the heading. So this is called Formatting Your Headings. And I'm making it Heading 2. And I'm going to come down to my other heading here and make this Heading 2. Anything else is staying as as paragraph. What that does, whatever your theme is set up as, um, the font that was chosen for your theme, it will make sure that when you're writing your blog post that that font is consistent to the rest of your website. So that's why we bring in anything from Word because you wouldn't want it to be in the font that you used in Word or formatted in in the Word format. So that just cleans up the text so that when it drops into your web, when you, when you drop it into your blog post, it will format correctly. So now what we want to do is save our draft. Because you always want to make sure you save your draft as long as you're pleased with how it's coming along. You can always change it afterwards. But if you were to have to step away from your computer or, or whatever you're working on, you want to make sure that the information that you put in here is still here when you get back to it. Another thing that you should do quite often is preview. And I don't think we really need to preview this text right now, but once we add an image, we do want to preview that. So why don't we go ahead right now and add an image. To add an image, you want to go and place your cursor before the paragraph or after the paragraph as to where you want to place the image. So we'll go up to Add Media and it brings you into your media library. If the image that or photo that you want to use for this blog post is not in your media library, then go ahead and upload it from your computer. So you just click on Upload Files and then you can select the files from anywhere on your computer. I'm going to go back to the media library. These are photos um, and images that we have used on our website or our blog posts. I'm going to choose Google Plus Local. 
it gives me the size of it and it also I could edit the image if I wanted to here I've also added some alt text Google does not read photos and videos yet they can't read photos and videos yet so if you put a little bit of alt text in your blog posts just might get found by the alt text that you have given to um, the image in the searches and then you want to go and align it so I have the choices you have are left right center and none I'm going to leave it at center right now because I want to show you how easy it is to change that too now the image was small so on the sizes that you can choose from they there's only full which is a small size actually 225 by 225 thumbnail and project so we'll just go with full if I had chosen this photo here it's a larger image it's a larger size um, it would have I would have had medium large and and thumbnail and would have more choices that you could select so I'm going to insert into post And notice my cursor, I had left the cursor at the bottom of the paragraph, so the image came in below the paragraph. If I had kept it up here, it would have stayed above the paragraph. But I, re I did this for a reason, so I'm going to show you how we can edit this. So I can either delete it out, which I'm going to do, and then I can go back. Now I could have edited it too, but I just want to show you one more time. So we're going to go back to our media gallery, add it again. And the reason I want to show you this is because of where I placed my cursor this time. The first time I placed my cursor over to the left here, and that's why it came on top. Now I'm going to edit it once more. If you want to delete it, you hover over this that says delete image. If we don't want to do that this time, if you want to edit it, just click on edit image. And then I want to bring it over to the left and I'm going to bring it down 60% because I want it to be a bit smaller. You can also resize it as well if I go into the advanced settings, but we'll get into that in the advanced beginner WordPress training. So now notice this here. It, th what you see in your editor does not always look the same when you preview it. So I can't stress enough that you always want to make sure you preview, especially before you publish your blog post. So now we'll look at what we've got here. So now, I, I don't know, I think it needs another paragraph. Also, notice that my text here, I want over to the left, and it's, it's centering. So if I put an extra space in, it will move over to the left when I go to edit it. But I think I'm going to add a paragraph and show you how that would work too. So it's a matter of experimenting a lot when you are first creating your blog post. I can either edit the post from my menu up here or I can edit it from down in here. So I'll edit it from here. This will bring us back to the editor to where, I'll, where we're working. And then what I'm going to do, now once you have copied something into, were, into your editor you don't have to put it through this word icon again. We're just going to add a space and I'm just going to paste it in. So I did control C and control V. Now let's go take a preview at it at our post. And this is what I mean about experimenting a bit. I had to experiment a lot <laughs> to learn. Now that looks a lot nicer and it moved down um, this copy here that was over in the center. So now it is all formatted very nicely. One last image we always add to our blog post is the featured image. So if you want to set a featured image, all you do is scroll down 
and under where your tags, that where you set your tags are, you just see this featured image. So set featured image. Click on that link. It brings you into your media library. You can either use the images that you used, one of the images that you used on your blog post, or you can use any image you want that's related to the blog post. Notice I clicked on Google Plus Local. It kept my alt text. I can just click on set featured image and there you go. And I will show you in a moment where that featured image goes. On our blog page we have it set up so that you can see our latest blogs. So from our blog you'll see all of our latest blog posts and these are the featured images that I was talking about. I want to show you one last feature that you can do in WordPress. You can add links to other sources, to other blog posts. So, for example, I want to point the reader over to this Writing and Sharing Reviews page. So all you need to do is to hover over the text, hover over this text, Go up to this link icon. It says Insert Edit Link. Click on it. I take out the copy that's in there because what I copied from the Writing and Sharing Reviews page, I'll click on that to show you. I copied this and it included the HTTPS. So I'm coming back over. I'm going to put it into the U where it says URL. You can make sure if it's a long URL that it did copy the HTTPS. Check, check this box open into a new window tab and click update. Now when we go to preview this, you'll notice that the link is there and when the reader clicks on the link, it will take them to that writing and sharing reviews. Here we go right here. The reason we checkbox the open into another window is so that you will not leave your blog the reader will not leave your blog post really. They'll leave it while they're reading this and then they can go right back over to your blog post. Now that you've finished formatting your blog post, it's time to choose some categories or set up new ones. So right down here we have LSU's categories. Categories are relevant to your type of business. So if we were a car dealership, we might have car repair as one of the categories, car maintenance, um, and then you would write blog posts relevant to those categories. So if you wrote a blog post and you didn't have a relevant category, all you need to do is click on this add new category link and then you would just type in the category and then click on add new and it would be up here with a check mark next to it. So what we want to do on this on this training blog post that we did it was relevant to Google Plus so we check box Google Plus and we also created a category for our front page and what that does is it takes the blog post that we've just published and it puts it on our home page. So you can have your webmaster or if you do your own WordPress blog and website, you can set that up in your settings. And so we're all set with our categories. Um, I think I'll add a tag too. So I'm going to add Google Plus Local as my tag. You can see I've added that before and um, just separate them with a comma and just say add. So now I think we are all set but I'd like to preview my post one last time and then you're, all you have to do is click on publish and you are all set to go.